Hi, I'm Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. In this video, you will learn how to create scrolling photos animation effect in PowerPoint 2013. The beautiful scrolling photos animation effect you will learn to create today looks like this. There is a simple scroll with picture which on click reveals new photos and as you can see here with each click I can reveal new photos and this can be a wonderful effect for you to showcase pictures in your business presentations. It's a very simple trick to learn and I'll show you how to create this effect from scratch by going to a new slide. Here I am on a new slide and the first thing I'm going to do is to create the scroll background and then I will place pictures on top of the background and then I'll show you how to animate them one after another. First, let us create the screen. So let us go to rectangles, pick up the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle and this is going to serve as the screen for our scroll. Then let us go to auto shapes menu, pick up another rectangle tool and let us draw a pole. And I'm going to make a copy of this by holding the control button down and I'm going to click and drag this pole to its new position. And now we have got the basic screen ready. I'm going to give the screen a slightly darker color like this one and I'm going to remove the outline and I'm not really going to add any more embellishments here because the main purpose of this video is to show you how to arrange the pictures and animate them. Now I'm going to use three pictures to create the scrolling effect. So let us go to auto shapes menu and I'm going to use the same rectangle tool to serve as a picture placeholder. The reason why I'm using this is so that all the pictures that I use have the same dimension. I'm going to remove the outline here and I'm going to make two more copies by pressing Ctrl D twice and I'm going to place them on the side. And now I'm going to fill each of these shapes with pictures. So I'm going to select the rectangle here, right click, go to format shape, go to the fill option here, go to picture or texture fill go to file and choose any picture that you want to include as part of the scrolling animation. In this case, I'm going to choose maybe this picture and I'm going to press insert and our first picture is ready. Then let us select another one like say this one and let us fill this with another picture. Maybe in this case, the picture I want to choose is uh, this one and I'm going to say insert. Now we have the third, second picture ready. The third picture is going to be filled exactly in the same way. We are going to choose maybe something like this and I'm going to say insert. Now we have three pictures. Let us arrange all the pictures one on top of another. And now it is time to animate them. I'm going to close this format background pane and I'm going to now name each of these pictures so it's easy for me to animate them later on. Let me go to the home tab in PowerPoint ribbon, go to the select option here in the editing group and click on selection pane. Now this allows us to name each of these pictures. I'm going to select the first one. So I'm going to call this say A and I'm going to click on this I button here so I can hide it. Then I'm going to access the second one and I'm going to call this one as say B and then I'm going to hide that one as well and I'm going to access the third one and I'm going to name this as C and this time I'm going to click on show all so I have all the pictures shown. Now it is time to animate all these pictures. So let us go to the animations tab in PowerPoint ribbon, go to animation pane so you can clearly follow the animations that I'm going to sequence here. Now let me add the first animation. I'm going to select the first photo called A and I'm going to have this exit the scene. So I'm going to add an exit animation. So let us go to the animation options here, go to more exit effects and choose the option called peek out exit animation effect. And I'm going to say, okay. So on a click, this goes out. Now this needs to be hidden and we need to add animation to the photo behind this. So I'm going to go to A here and I'm going to hide it by clicking on the I button. Now for this one, we need to add an entrance animation. So I'm going to select this, go to the animation options here, more entrance effects. And this time the animation that I'm going to add is peek in animation. And I'm going to say, okay. 
and the direction of the peak in has to be from top so I'm going to select that now that this is done let me show all and let me explain to you what I have done just now on a click you have this picture going away and at the same time this picture peeking in and to make that at the same time work I'm going to say start with previous so we have on a click this going out and B coming in now we are going to repeat the process for B going out and C coming in so let us select this and hide and let us work on B now B needs to go away so let us go to add animation go to more exit effects and say peek out and say ok and then let us hide this and then for C to come in we are going to add an entrance animation so let us go to more entrance effects add peek in and say ok and change the effect options from top beautiful now let us show all now that we have got all the animations done we don't really need to see this in the selection pane so I'm going to close that down and I'm going to change the next option here called 3C I'm going to say with previous and now let me quickly explain this animation in plain English on a click A is going to go out while B enters then on the next click B is going to go out as C enters now C is the last picture that we have and therefore we don't need to add any further animation and now let us see how this animation plays and let us go to slideshow mode on a click A goes B enters then on a click B goes and C enters beautiful so that is how you create this beautiful scrolling picture animation effect you like today's video great just think about this it's one thing to learn PowerPoint by picking up useful tips and tricks from different places but if you want to truly master PowerPoint and get some meaningful business results, you need to go through a structured training program. And that is why I created Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Program. It's arguably the most comprehensive and creative PowerPoint training online. Whether you are a rank beginner or an advanced user of PowerPoint, the lessons inside the program will take your skills to the next level. And more importantly, every lesson inside the program is laser focused to improve your business presentation skills. So please click on the link below in the description area to find out more details about Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Program. And by the way, as a thank you gift for watching this video this far, I've put together a useful free mini training called Learn 25 Creative PowerPoint Ideas to make your slides slick and interesting. If you're a business owner, an executive, a trainer or a consultant, you will find these 25 creative ideas extremely useful. You can sign up for the free mini training by clicking on the button here. I'll also leave a link to the mini training in the description area below this video. So please sign up and I'll see you inside the mini training.